everything. If you don't believe you can do something, then you can't. Nobody's going to be able to save it for you. So we have to do what we have to do. No matter what it is. Tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off. But you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you've got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. When the disappointments and the rejections come, and they're going to come by the truckloads, your reasons will be your rod and staff to comfort you, to pick you up once again. Because if you can look up, you can get up. Let your reasons get you back up. It's been a while, and I do apologise for that, but uh, mitigated circumstances have um, forced me a little bit, but I have returned the uh, entirety of the Back in the Pack videos, due to the fact is that apparently the EFL deem that they have copyright everything in their mids on YouTube, considering that the intro is taken from most live games, and I, again, as I state in most of my videos, I haven't actually written them down, but I have never ever taken credit in for any one of the intros. There's always a way of, you, I always leave a little bit in so you can see that they're either recorded or been taken from somewhere else. I don't own them. So, yeah, I, I've i never stated that the fact is I've ever made these or intend to uh, do them. The fact is they're just intros that fit what the uh, the um, the team is so every single one of them did get copyrighted they're meant to be getting released next week because uh, apparently they have 30 days to respond and they haven't responded within the 30 days yet so by the 20th of April I should have all my videos back but in the meantime I did play the three games in between and boy did we play them so when we last left off we'd beating Nottingham Forest 4-2, uh, it was a bit iffy, and then we did go on to lose a unspectacular mm, big test against uh, our bitter rivals, West Bromwich Albion, a Solomon Rondon goal. We then decided that three days later that uh, we were going to absolutely demolish Barnsley 8-0, and then just to follow up to prove that we could just do it again, and I mean we were hitting for five for five we were everything was turning goal we then um went away to sheffield united and have blitzed them as well and then we just kind of showed up against uh, burton and uh, four days later so today we're playing aston villa and preston second place preston and 13th place villa what it does for the league 
we are top by 33 and are now 11 games unbeaten with a goal difference of 30. Yes. I think we have now conceded 6 and scored like a billion. So we have that going for us. The phone is here. There is no, there's less noise in this room. In fact, I have moved rooms. I'm now in the, the living room. So it's a bit more echoey. But also, a bigger table means the mic can be exactly right in front of my mouth at all times. Yes. So, we're just going to get straight into it. It's already set up pretty much for the game. Just quickly get through to it. So you can see we're in a strong fear. We have got a couple of injuries, but this is the team we're going to be putting out there today. We've got Pedro Agrakovic in goals, who has six clean sheets now in something. Uh, Barry Douglas, Connor Cody and Ryan Bennett make up the back, and uh, Matt Doherty make, make up the back lines with uh, Alfred and Jai sitting in that defensive midfielder role along with Helder Costa and has now returned from injury and Ivan Calavero out on the wings. Ruben Neves continuing to be trained at uh, Shadow Striker and he is starting to come along quite nicely with uh, Di Diogo Jota and Benicophobia up front who have now scored 26 goals combined. 13 and yes and as always just for those who are just joining go why is he what's the transfer thing uh, if you don't know or don't follow English Championship football Diogo Jota is a kind of is he a wonder kid hmm at 20 I don't know whether he is or not but he is a uh, very very good he is very good uh, unfortunately you can't get him until the second season Oh, sorry, the third season in because he is joining Wolverhampton Wanderers permanently in the second season. Benic Foby also on loan and Jai's on loan and you another and a couple of others. Uh Bonatti's never seen the first team. Uh Wally Bowley and uh Ruben Venere or Vinraj. Sorry. Vinray, I think it is Vinray or Vinra Vinray, I think it is. Anyway, enough babbling. We have babbled too long. So this will be out on Monday morning. I'm recording this on the Saturday <laughs> night. Whilst I'm uh, waiting for a very important phone call. So. The intro will come back. If not, I'll find another one. If they moan and moan and moan. If not, YouTube will just release something in every... Th I'll just have to put one in every 30 days. I'll just have to keep making a complaint. My valid, I have got the valid reason that it is live football it has been taken from and being uploaded to YouTube and therefore it is within the public domain. And usually if you do that a few times, YouTube is going, okay, fair enough. But they will constantly copyright strike it and I will constantly put in the claims in all the way up until November. Um, So we will get into this. Oh, I never saw you. I never even showed you the um, Aston Villa team. Uh, let's see if we can bring it up. Uh, I don't think I can. Uh, M M M M M M M. Ah, well in here. Hang on. Tactics. Nope. I I don't use these, so I never ever ever. Uh, opposition instructions that'll do so <laughs> I, I never use these for uh, Aston Villa is of course Sam Johnson goal James Chester Axel Tanzabe John Terry uh, Mohammed uh, uh, Ahmed El Mohammedi Thomas Grogad Mile Jeninak Henry Lansbury Connor Hurahane Joshua Onama and Lewis Graben will be starting up front on the bench for them Chad Steer James Bree Robert Snodgrass Jonathan Koja, Glenn Whelan, Be Barak Barisan, and Albert Adoma. So we will continue this with the very impossible highlight that makes no sense. But Jota has brought it down to Calavera. We're only 16 seconds into this game, surely not. Benicophobia, Sam Johnson, or better known in the network save I'm doing with my friend Sam Emmanuel Neuer Johnson, because he saves everything. He had frustrated me and my friend for the entirety of the championship season. He was a fr always a frustration for us to try and get past Aston Villa, but we did in the end. 
as there's not a lot happening in this present moment, seven, seven minutes in, eight minutes in. John Terry and Truzabi at the back to Lansbury. Ooh, nearly cut out there by Neves grabbing. Got a lot of work to do to try and get past a, a very sturdy back line, it has to be said. Although it's not the sturdiest, Connor Cody is very capable in there along Ryan Bennett. The Ryan Bennett doesn't usually play so much. And there we go, their message is in. Ready the board going, eh, uh, haven't seen you in a while, where have you been? So, just whilst I, um, message them back, Hilda Costa comes in, Hilda Costa, oh my days, that is a strike. That has absolutely burst the net. Like, you have no idea, but that has just literally burst the net. Ivan Calavero is all the way along. I think number 27, I think that's Mohamedy, has misjudged the header. And Helda Costa has just buried that into the back of the net. 1-0 Wolves. As Matt Doherty going to pick it up to Jota, who does love playing this little role. It does seem to suit him. He loves to kind of run out wide, cut into the ball and send the ball in he does do his mazy little runs as well though and he does stay in the box well but he does what uh, Calavero's doing here cuts it in and Benicophobi oh, I can't really get it on target but he does that a lot for a phobia a lot of their goals are a lot very kind of one assists to the other which it's a very good partnership up front I kind of wish I now did the Barnsley game because if we only win like by 2 now I'm going to be like, yeah. But there'll be 16 goals in 4 games, which in itself is an amazement. <clears throat> but I think, although I am 36 points, very much clear and effectively going to win the league by probably December at this rate. Um, it's 1-1, one, one. never mind. No, I'm not. Uh, Matt Doherty kind of wondering what's going on. So I, was, I wasn't even paying attention as much. Um, it's on a mat and Dai doesn't really get to him. El Mohamedy, no one goes out to him. He's got acres of time and space. Douglas does and it's just grabbing just got all the time. Again, we try, but uh, as it happens, oh, Jota, there's a mistake, a phobia, it's 2 1, oh, and that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes Jota just loves to do that as well, but that's massively, massively, massive. I don't know why I'm saying massively all the time. I think this is John Terry as well. Is this John Terry getting caught out in the ball? It is John Terry gets caught out by Jota. It's a bad first touch, it just strings it across in between the legs of Tabuze or Chuzebe. And drills it in, Benicophobia makes it 2-1. We don't really concede. But I think it will be just the one game actually today, because I am a little bit busy. I've got a penalty, Alfred and Jai, to make it 3 doesn't, can he get the rebound, he does, never mind, it is indeed 3-1 Wolverhampton Wanderers, we are now, this is what has been happening in every game, apart from maybe the Sheffield United game, we have just been lethal in, the, in games, absolutely clinical in some of our finishing, very, very clinical, and I do apologise for the phone constantly going off, but there is reasons behind that, and um they may become apparent one day, we'll see. 
it's Jota comes through, and Jota can't really get his goal. That's canned off everybody, and it's going out for a goal kick. So Jota pulling the things. Never has been quiet, but he does pop up with a goal or two. He is still getting used to that role when he's a fully trained in the role because he is very young as well as Ruben Neves. So you do get a lot out of him, and his contract is worth like fifty six million. So he's a uh, yeah, he's um, very good at what he does. And could have held a Costa back. And the network saves, I never keep a hold of him. He is like the one player that goes because he's worth £22 million, his release clause. And he does help tinger the club over, usually just because I've got uh, Ruben Vinegray there. And then I just do it as Connor Cody. That is, it. that is a striker's goal. It's 4-1. We are eating teams alive. Now all of a sudden, Barry Douglas is a good free kick taker in Alfred and Jai to Benica Foby who just, just touches it over and Connor Cody just buries it in the back of the net and there was me talking about how uh, Sam Johnson was Emmanuel Neuer in disguise and he frustrated me and my friend in the network save and I've just buried four past him. Ooh, it's a knock for uh, Ivan Calavero. Ruben Neves still trying to get to grips with his role. He does well though, he does... He does uh, suit it in the end. He does uh, grow and he grows to it very quickly. One of my ooh, Omana, I think it is, just past the post. <clears throat> but yeah, we're um, we're holding in there. I think in the sixtieth minute, I'm just going to take Ivan off just because of that twist in there. I don't want to uh, aggravate it anymore. I'm going to bring on. Jordan Graham for him, and then we'll swap Costa and Graham over. Only reason, yeah, like I said, only reason he's now coming off is because of that uh, twist in the. I don't want him to uh, injure it anymore. Already got uh, Vinegaray out, I think, for six weeks, and Willie Bowley's out for two weeks. So we have got injuries. Jordan Graham is good. He, he he's he's very capable in his role as it's four two. Oh dear. That'll be the first time we've conceded two in a wee while. If any, I don't think we've actually conceded two all season. So, the goal difference comes down to 33. But, it is indeed, it's only going to be the one game today, as I've said. Just because it is getting quite late. I have work in the morning. And I need an early night. And this was kind of an obtuse um, thing that I can now just edit tomorrow, which is Sunday for me. Which will be... Um, yesterday for you by the time this video comes out. <laughs> Very confusing. And uh, yeah. And that'll just run in the background and I'll probably try and record Tuesdays and try and get a little bit ahead of myself again. Uh, but yes, it doesn't affect so much Reball and Rangers. In fact, as I just take a break as well. Again, let's help. So we'll have that, we'll be coming back hopefully over the weekend as well if I can spare the time to actually record, I'm kind of very busy, very busy person. Um, so yeah, there's that, Matt Docker A, where is he going to go with him, he doesn't get the uh, tackle in, Lewis Graham has got to come back, Barry's Douglas starts Wolves off in the counter attack and can Wolves be lethal, Benica Foby, ooh, just over the bar, 83rd minute, we are, um, that's we're doing very well to uh, I think our toughest game is going to be against Preston they are uh, going to it pretty much one for one for us they have lost two this season but they are um, keeping up with us as you can see there we have scored 41 goals already and it is only September so our Alfred and Jai big tackle there I think it's just mainly because uh, Bennett and Cody don't really play together. Bennett's more used to Bowley playing on that right hand side. And game over. It is 4 2 Wolves. And it is indeed very well done. It is a good one for us, lads. I am very proud of this team. And there's a shocker even in the world news. How, realis how unrealistic is uh, FM this year? So I'll, uh, I'll do all that. Obviously I'm going to bring you the uh, top of the table clash 
and we're just going to change it to Preston and QPR so nothing will change effectively as of now I'll just read these emails set us all up for six seven days time where we will be playing the uh, yeah that and we're cruising nicely as you can see the last time we actually dropped two goals and one four two was against Millwall sorry it wasn't it was against Nottingham Forest so we've went one two three two clean sheets and four apparently but it has been very good start to the season again we'll have a quick look at the table there we go that's how the table stands now we've got a very big goal difference uh, kind of shocked by the teams that came down you know Borough uh, Sunderland and was it Villa? no it wasn't Villa ooh ooh oh dear I can't remember who came down uh, I don't think it was Villa I actually don't know I'm actually looking at them I have oh yeah, Hull sorry Hull there we go got there in the end <laughs> that was a bit um, yeah and uh, just quickly before we go just to fill a wee bit of time this is how the um, Premier League looks so the Antlin Leicester and Stoke starting to be, it's getting a bit of the pack is starting to pull away ever so slightly but um, yeah they're there and thereabouts so just so you see that there is going to be no um, going back as you can see there is no other saves that is the network save there is the uh, rebuilding rangers there is the old network save and that was my private one that I've never actually touched since uh, the 26th of October when I think this came out anyway we're been back in the pack that is the leagues that are loaded all the way down now that is my name indeed it is do not try and do anything else with that name please uh, so guys, I will see you on Tuesday for uh, the yeah. Uh, I will see you then. But whilst this is saving, I am going to say I want to love yous and leave yous. And remember to like, comment, subscribe below. Make sure to click the little bell beside the subscribe button so you always get the notification when a video goes live on my channel. It does help out extremely and it gets the views out there. Remember just to like, comment, drop anything you want in the comment section. I'm not really that bothered. Hate me, love me, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, but also I want to, we're not going to be doing it now, but as we're kind of getting starting to leak a big gap 16 points effectively 15 off the playoffs uh, starts suggesting players either for January or for the next season and I will scout them and have a look at them but until then guys remember to like comment subscribe below and I'll see you all next time bye for now